There's no doubt in my mind that ancient Egypt was a different world than we know, with a different earth potential, a different frequency, different energy, a more electrified environment compared to ours, and they used it in ways we must struggle to imagine, because it is a world foreign to us. The article link below sheds some light on ancient construction practices. It's titled MIT Engineers Create Supercapacitor from Ancient Materials. This article describes how MIT engineers made a capacitor from cement, water, and carbon black. Their experiments show a slight doping of carbon black with concrete allows it to hold a useful capacitor charge. The team calculated that a block of nanocarbon black doped concrete about 3.5 meters on a side can store about 10 kilowatt hours of energy, enough for the average household's daily use. In other words, your home's foundation could be your energy storage device with this technology. Likewise, the Egyptians and other megalithic builders use granites and other stones with natural electrical properties. Granites are composed of silicates, silicon and oxygen compounds with a bit of other elements mixed in that form crystals and platelets that readily diffuse charge. Granite is highly conductive and piezoelectric, which means if it's vibrated, it generates electric current. Sonic vibration would be the easiest way to stimulate the stone and give it a frequency. It would generate a direct current pulsed by the resonating sonic frequency. It appears everything they did was based on static charge and discharge, obviously because Nikola Tesla hadn't been born yet. I can imagine deep in the bowels of a temple, being surrounded by granite's natural energy, enhanced by sonic vibrations delivered by trumpets and drums from the pageant outside the chambers. Waiting patiently for my spiritual awakening, while incense fills the room with dense aroma, and the only sound is a hum and crackle, as priests turn tables of feathers against my skin, speaking incantations. These things fill my mind with hallucinations, charge my body with dry anticipation, and encase my head with a buzzing presence. Then wham! Somebody pokes an ank at my nose and fire shoots my butt to the top of my head, energizing chakras I didn't know I had. I could see someone doing that. Not me, somebody who deserves it like a pharaoh. The Mayan kings stabbed their penises, which sounds a whole lot worse. <laughs>